Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Bertiller with Service Management Leadership. Thank you for joining us. I want to continue the conversation on my from my book, I Told For the New Frontier. So when organizations started adopting ITIL V3 back in 2008, it was revolutionary, but it didn't happen overnight. You couldn't just say, poof, here's a big effort. Now we're an ITIL V3 organization. It took time. And I'm encouraging the same level of patience with ITIL 4. You will not be able to miraculously, through Herculean effort, now become an ITIL 4 organization. It's going to take a process. It's going to take an incremental steps towards that. And I think that's what ITIL 4 would want you to do, given the the guiding principle of progress iteratively with feedback. And so every organization is, is much, it's so different from one to another. Even if you take two that look very similar, Coke and Pepsi, they're very different. They take two hospitals in the same city, very different. Two banks, same thing. The reason is you have different leadership with different risk tolerance, risk aversion. You have different levels of service management expertise on staff, which will dictate how quickly you can start pushing this and adopting your ITIL 4 principles and practices. You also have the level of maturity of your ITIL 4, ITIL 3 processes that will become ITIL 4 practices. And that's a big one. And most people, I, I get pushback on this at, occasionally, and uh, I, I think this is pretty straightforward. If you have an immature incident management process, don't you think it's going to take a little longer to adapt that to ITIL 4 than it would be if it was very mature, where everybody knew what they're doing, everything was repeatable? Of course, it's the same thing with everything else. Same with your uh, subject matter experts. These are the people on the front lines who are going to get asked all day, every day about ITIL 4. You have your leadership as an aspect. You have your subject matter experts as an aspect. You have the, the process maturity as an aspect. You also have things like, how about your stability of your leadership? How about the willingness to start doing more outside of your ITSM tool. And the reason I say that is because, to my knowledge, the service management tools, I haven't seen one that is now ITIL 4 enabled. And I, I use the word enabled only because it's not just calling change management, change enablement. I don't care about the semantics. I care about the thought process of moving to value streams instead of service life cycles. And as leaders, there's one thing to consider, and this is the punchline, is that the only thing you can control, you have all these variables at play, the only thing you can control is the speed. Because if you go too fast, you're risking failure. You know that. If you go too slow, go too slowly, you will risk losing any momentum. There's a fine balance that every leader must, must strive for. And we at Service Management Leadership would love to help you and your organization as you uh, traverse ITIL 4. Let me know if you need help in other ways like experience management, other aspects of service management, also asset management, business continuity. And also please follow our company page on LinkedIn. Hope you have a great, great day. And thank you once again. Bye.